What's up guys? Today we are gonna do some taillight modification to Indy CRZ. The very dirty CRZ. The very dirty CRZ that we got from our buddy Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Eric. But Thanks, also, Eric. why'd you hit so many things? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe things hit him. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah so uh what are we doing today? So in an effort to clean this thing up and uh just kind of change some stuff around for the cheap to slash free, you know? We are doing what's known as the CRZ eyeliner mod. So, um, so just open this. I want to lock it, I guess. I guess. I guess. There we go. So if you look on the edges here of the taillights, you'll see that they are clear. Mm. They're also clear on the top. The bottom, I think, is actually, it looks black already, but whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and in doing this, we are going to pull these taillights off, tape up the faces, and we're going to paint this edge and this edge uh, black. Huh. It's a very subtle thing, but I think it looks really good. Yeah. So, I wish we had the time to do like a side by side, just like do one and put it back in. Yeah. But well, we can do it before and after. That's true. You could probably just edit a picture. Yeah, it'd be know, fine. We'll get like a direct back thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so uh, these taillights got to come out. We also have at the same time uh, an LED reverse light and it's like this like right in reflector the, yeah it's like a reflector light yeah. almost um like a stay on yeah the brake lights themselves are already led from the factory the turn signals i don't want to deal with um nope a little flasher speed really thing right now yep so that's gonna be you know a regular bulb for now but led reverse led reflector thing and uh yeah eyeliner mod so these taillights are actually one of the easiest taillights to remove i think because you literally just like pop this And then you just pull an eject button. Yeah, you just you just push this three times and say, uh, "Open sesame." Dippy dippy dooby. Dippy dippy dooby. So I was right. These are an eight mil. I think you're gonna be surprised at like, how easy these tails come out. Yeah. Okay. You're joking. And our tail lights out. <laughs> it is really that easy. Yeah, like actually. That might literally be the <laughs> easiest tail light to remove ever. Yeah, so you just pop the little cover, get the two eight mils out, and then we just undo some lights. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these unplugged and then uh, start cleaning up and tape these up and we'll show you guys when they're all taped up and fun stuff. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right, so headlights are off. Off tail lights. Obviously. Yeah, that's Tail what I said. That's what I mean. Tail lights are off. Um, and we have masked off the very surface of the lens using a razor blade to kind of, you know, trace the shape of the outline so that we're not... Um, Spraying where we don't want. Yeah, exactly. Or not getting enough spray where we want. Um, so then we filled in. Make sure, you know, your tape is pressed on nicely. Yep. And then use some wax and grease remover or rubbing alcohol and wipe down the edges because otherwise you'll have a lot of soots. Schmutz. Schmutz. And you can see that, like, just, yeah. <laughs> this is where we're gonna be painting and you don't want this. Yeah, you otherwise know. it's just, the paint's gonna come up. Yeah. Uh, you can tape off the back of the lights if you're so inclined, like this whole area, but I'm just gonna, like, be careful and not spray a lot. Yeah, also it's black and that part of the tail lights is not gonna be shown. Well, I'll probably I mean, maybe mask here. this part. Yeah, but yeah. that's about it. You know, yeah. the back area, I'm not going to worry about too much. In fact, I think I can just unscrew these. So I'll just unscrew these. Oh, great. Yeah, they have two little. Oh, even better. Boop, boop. So we're yeah. just going to take these off so I don't have to worry about it at all. Oh, it's almost like it was made for the eyeliner mod. Kind of, actually. Huh? Yeah, it's kind yeah. of funny. So we're going to pull these off right now and um, 
Yeah, it's spraying. Yeah, basically. Oh, and we do have gloss black for this. I thought about doing either satin or matte, but I think gloss black works better with I that think, liquid silver. I think, well, I think on when because you know when you paint like RC car bodies, you paint the inside. So no matter kind of how like garbage of a paint job you do, it still looks good. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like this will have the same sort of effect because you'll never see this or this. Yeah. So like you only see it from this direction and it'll be clear and like no matter how bad you do, right. it'll look sick. So, yeah, true. Yeah, so we're gonna take these guys off right now and then um, spray, spray, spray. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we laid down what, three coats? Uh, two. Two coats? Two coats yeah, of uh, gloss black. You can see this is what the where the paint actually is. But um, the taillights look significantly darker, which is kind of interesting. Around the edges, so interesting. How yeah, well because shades. like, you know, the only parts that I got painted were like here. And like, you know, th if you look at this tiny little like strip across the top, you know? Yeah, but it's like, like such a small part. But it really darkened up the taillights and I like it. Yeah. One thing to note for y'all, be careful when your taillights are uh, being taped up. Yeah. yeah, there's a little piece in the corner that hangs off right here, as you can see. And uh, I may have stepped on it. I may have stepped on it and cracked it and had to super glue it. But you know, it's nice glue. Let's see what it looks like. Because this is the corner that I got cracked. Oh, dude, honestly, that's fine. Who cares? You can, can, really, yeah, you can barely even tell. No one, no one passing by will like see that and be like, oh, this. Yeah. Big tape sheets are fun. Very interesting. The kind of good part is, is we're looking up some other tail light alternatives, and they sell someone mm -hmm. mods the tail lights to uh, have like sequential turns and stuff that are LED along yeah. with the lower section that uh, they use OEM tails to do, which I'll eventually get. But I was super on the fence about the eyeliner mod, so I kind of figured if anything, I can do it to these. And if I didn't like it when I get the new ones, it won't matter that much. Or just don't yeah. But honestly, I really like it. I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I think it's going to look great on the car. So, mm. not bad. So we're going to put these back in. Uh, we also have a couple LED bulbs to replace at the same time. Um, all this stuff just pops out. So literally, if you're going to do LED bulbs on yours for like the uh, reverse light and this little lower guy down here, all you have to do is take these two bolts out like you saw, pop the taillight, put some bulbs in, you're done. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in the car and back together with new bulbs and then you'll see it. Yes, indeed. All right. So both taillights are bolted back in. We also put those 194s and what was, the, do you remember the code for the verse light? No, okay. we'll look it up. We'd have to look it up really quick, but we uh, popped that on. So we still have the OEM bulbs, the halogens for the turn signals because we don't want to deal with relays but oh one of the reverse bulbs is not quite in All right, I'll go on the, which one? Uh, the left one Robertson? yeah okay. you could be JDM and have a single reverse bulb we'll fix it. yeah we'll fix it right now okay so as you can see, the eyeliner mod is installed. Pretty straightforward. The taping was probably the most annoying part. Actually, I think stepping on my taillights and breaking that. That was, was definitely part. pretty annoying. You can see, it's really not a huge deal. Um, yeah. And I will eventually, like I said, replace but, these you know, with this, those six sequentials. This car is uh, not in the best condition cosmetically. Well, nothing is perfect. Ignore this. This, Nor that, and that, and that. Do you, like, that. Do you like this? Because like, you know, this we got wash off. we got the car for an incredibly good price. So. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Also, how dare you ruin my car? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's gonna do it for the eyeliner mod. It's really simple. Basically, you just need a roll of tape, an eight mil, I and a uh, can more, of paint. More time consuming. Really take your time with it. Yeah. Um, we found out when we pulled the tape off of these, in a couple of areas, like down at the bottom here, the area is kind of shaped like a U. Yeah. So you want to actually like take your time and like get some paint really yeah. in there. So if you can hit the angle directly, like as opposed to like from like, the like, side, yeah. like kind of like go down the channel, like mm -hmm. if it's like a trench, you know? Yeah, exactly. 
And that's also the same on the top section as well, actually. Yeah, fortunately so. it's not hyper noticeable once it's on the car, but it definitely would be a tiny bit more thorough if it was like done that way. Yeah, and so like I said, once we eventually do a video on the other tail lights, you'll see, we'll go through and really like get them really well in that kind of trench. Yeah. You can already see it's not a big deal, but like we know, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So. so uh, that's going to do it for the eyeliner mod. Uh, yep. Let us know what you guys thought of the video. If you guys uh, have tried the eyeliner mod, give it a try. If you're on the fence about it, like I was, because I was really unsure. Like I had seen some videos. Well, he had sent me some pictures and I was like, I like it. I yeah, would do it if I had a CRZ, I, I would do well, it. Well, I was just kind of like, I don't know. Like I sent it to you. I sent it to Bob. I sent it to like everybody. I'm like, what do you think? Because I'm like, just like, ah, maybe. But like. No, I think it works it really well with the back glass. Yeah. Now having it done, I think it looks great. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, something to keep in mind. Yeah, definitely. So let us know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys. And eyeliner. Wait, what?